So the second uh, attitude that we must learn to cultivate is contentment. Abu Huraira narrates that true wealth is not having a material, it is the contentment of the heart. So there is a deep strategy for learning how to be content with what you have. And that is the, that uh, to understand that success lies in obeying the orders of Allah, not in achieving, not in having uh, materials or having titles or having jobs or having uh, wife and children. None of these worldly possessions is success. Success is only in find in obeying the orders of Allah in the situation that you are. Today we have a lifetime of training which teaches us to think in the opposite way. We have learned to think that only if you have a degree, only if you have a job, only if you are married, only if you have a large amount of wealth, these are the criteria for success. And so we have to work for five years or 10 years or 20 years to achieve those states. And then we can be successful. This is a complete illusion. And uh, this leads to discontent. We are not happy with what we have, with what we have, because we want more. And this leads to lack of gratitude towards Allah. So whatever the external circumstances are, those are the best for us. Allah Ta'ala has put us in these for our benefit. And we have to appreciate what we have been given. And we have to understand the test that we have been placed in. We have to learn to take the action which will bring us closer to Allah in the situation that we are in. Not try to change the situation for a better situation. Because there is no better situation. So uh, we have to learn process thinking versus outcome thinking. We are used to thinking in terms of uh, the one who wins is successful. But actually, uh, it's all about how you play the game. In this game, uh, uh, the king and the peasant are equally uh, capable of passing and of failing. Even a small piece of date as a sadqa can bring the reward of uh, mountains. Of, and sacrificing one's whole life in holy jihad can be useless if you have the wrong intentions. So all circumstances are equally tests for us, although some tests are harder and some are easier. So Allah Ta'ala has told us the purpose of this life. Allah so our goal in life is to collect the best deeds. And uh, there is a, this ayat was revealed on a very uh, particular situation when Abu Aqil a sahabi gave a small handful of dates. So some of the hypocrite, hypocrites mocked him that uh, lots of people are bringing so much uh, wealth to this uh, Tabuk expedition and you are just giving a little bit. So the Prophet ﷺ appreciated his efforts because he had worked all night to earn a handful of dates to give for the book. And Allah Ta'ala also revealed this ayat to support uh, this Sahabi. That um, So even a small, a handful of dates given as sadqa is worthy of the praise of Allah Ta'ala and his Prophet ﷺ. So it's not that how much we have, it's the intention in, heart, in our hearts and the amal that we can do with it. So the smallest of deeds done with sincerity counts heavily with Allah and the greatest deed done without sincerity counts for nothing. So the Quran tells us that the life of this world is just a small um, piece of there is a specific ayat that the wealth and the sons are the uh, allurements of this life. But the rewards for the deeds that we do are those things which will last forever. And these are the best. And Allah Ta'ala says that life of this in the dunya is mataul gurur. It's just an illusion. So when we focus on life of this world and we think of what we don't have, then we become ungrateful. But if we focus on the hereafter and realize that this life is only for a moment, then we will be able to uh, do the deeds with Allah, that Allah Ta'ala wants from us. So how can we learn to be content with what we have been given? Uh, one of the things is to never complain about our situation. Whatever the environment, whatever the uh, situation, we should 
give thank to Allah Ta'ala in this situation and imagine that things could be even worse. And we should concentrate on doing good deeds and making Allah Ta'ala happy and serve the creation of Allah for the sake of love of Allah. This, this is the best of deeds.